Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, today's beer is uh, the last in the Thomas Watkins range that got sent to me. They just released another one which I'm going to buy probably in review in the future. But this is their um, Thomas Watkins Kuru Gaif, um, the Great Ales of Wales. I've decided to do this beer because we are kind of hitting it's nearly mid-October, it's starting to cool down considerably now. Um, apart from today, today was a lovely day, but um, it's, we're starting to hit stout season, so let's do a stout. This is by Thomas Watkins, um, I'll pour it out and then we'll read what's on the label. Let's get this up to the camera. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Nice, nice head. And I like the picture on there. It's a picture of Caffili Castle in the snow. Um, up the valleys there. Lovely. One of the old Norman castles they built. Probably the, one of the biggest castles, or not the biggest, but one of the biggest in Wales, certainly, um, to defend against the Welsh. Um, okay, that's the Thomas Watkins. It's about a finger. It started pouring out with a two finger head, but it settled down to a finger head. Um, I'm getting a very malty, malty smile, and I like it. A, wo a oaky, oaky woody smell as well, which is smells really nice. Slight bit of caramel. Let's have a drink. Oh, this is superb. This is absolutely superb. I love my dark, stouty type drinks anyway. Probably my favourite um, in a range. Me and Chad had a little conversation about this and um, we, we had a little bit of banter, a bit of a laugh about it. Basically I, I, I like a stout and I always think if I see a dark quality, uh, sorry, a dark stouty type ales, ale, it always seems to um, breed, it always seems to breed quality for me. I always think straight away quality. Um, but there must be some, some average, below average stouts up there. But whatever stout I've ever picked up, um, always been very, very nice. So, um, so this is, well, a little cheers to Chad because I know he, Chad's beer reviews, by the way, Chad 9976, he likes his um, stout. So, can't fault it. Yeah. I enjoy mine too. You know, like an oaky, woody taste. Um, chocolate. That will be coming from the chocolate malts, I imagine, with this dark ale. Um, the malts give it the colour. You learn things every day, don't you? The malts give it the colour, and it's chocolate malts they've used here, so a crystal malts as well, I believe, what I've read on the back of the bottle. Um, it's got, like, like I said, a bit woody taste, but it's, it's chocolatey, um, and it's, it's oaky. It's like an oaky taste as well. You must brew in oak barrels. <coughs> Pardon me. Lovely. So Thomas Watkins, uh, um, they brew their beer up in Caffili, up in um, the valleys here in Wales. And it's Thomas Watkins, the Great Ales of Wales. They've won the True Taste of Wales Gold. Um, there on the back, little badge, sticker they put on. Brewed using only traditionally 
flawed malted barley and wheat along with a blend of crystal and dark chocolate malts. There you go. Um, to give a warming, rich, full-bodied beer. The body, the body is fantastic. The lacing's nice. Um, and it does, it does give you this warming feeling. You can imagine, um, just to say, Friday. Friday, you picked up your wages from the bank. Um, cold. You go in the supermarket or, or your beer store, whatever you do, you see four or five of these, you think, I need something to, to, to really warm me up tonight. This is probably what you go for in um, in this this season now coming up. Um, winter, Autumn, winter, and then the other side you're looking for your spring ales then. But definitely autumn, winter, you'd be looking to dig into these. But you can drink them all year round, but I always prefer, I've called this slightly, very slightly. I put it in in half an hour before the review, just to just to take it down a couple of degrees. But um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna give it a rating. I'm gonna rate this beer now. Um, the body's great. The taste is fantastic. I like the look of the beer. The beer looks great. It really does. Um, great little brewery. I haven't had a bad beer in their range. If you haven't seen my other reviews, check out the other reviews. I haven't had a bad beer. They've all been very, very good. Good quality ales. Um, I'm going to have to give this... I'm going to give this a 9. I seem to give a lot of 9s lately, but... Um, this is really good. It's a 9 out of 10 for the Real Ale Guide. The brewery started up in 2002, so it's 8 years old, coming up 9 years old. Um, it's in a pint bottle. It's 4.7% in the alcohol, the content. And, well, it goes off March next year, March 2011. So it's got a good 5-6 months to go on the sell by date there. Um, so it's a nine. Fantastic brewery. Oh, I'll give the website. Let's give the website. It is www.thomaswalkin.com. Have a look at their stuff. Um, they do pint glasses, as I got here from Thomas Watkin. They do great t-shirts. Um, all, all sorts of different merchandise. You can order their beer range. Their beer range includes Kuru Braff. Kuru Half Summer Lager, OSB Old Style Bitter, Kuru Gaif, um, boom, boom, boom off the top of my head, the Kuru Idris, and I think I've forgotten one, but have a look on the website, they've got cast scales as well, in, in, if, you, if you're watching this from, from Great Britain, um, and you see this on, on the cask in, in a pub, on the pull there, have a few pints of this, it's absolutely lovely. Um, it's just a little, I think it, 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 say it, it this puts this beer in just a couple of words. Um, it's, it's in Welsh, it's row ye dried land, meaning put your feet up. I think that's absolutely fantastic. I think they've got, that's exactly what you would do. Put your feet up, enjoy a few of these beers. Um, they're really, really good. So giving her a nine, not the real ale guide. I think I've got about a minute to go. gone down really really well really well if you'd like to get in touch with the real ale guide you can email me at real ale guide at googlemail.com um, twitter real ale today um, facebook real ale guide um, but mainly leave a comment tell me what you think of this beer leave a comment if you like if you like the channel subscribe um, all that all that jazz, subscribe to the channel, friend requests, whatever. Um, the more the merrier, the more people I'm talking to, the merrier. I love beer, I love talking beer. Um, so, that's all for me today. 9 out of 10 for the Kuru Gaif. Cheers.